Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. I'm Jeff Hodges along with UNA head football coach Bobby Wallace. And Coach Wallace, the UNA Lions opened the Gulf South Conference of their uh, portion of your schedule and style. A big 34-17 to win over Mississippi College and a game that was really a fight and they look a lot like the Mississippi College teams used to face back in the 90s. Well, they did. They, like I said, they looked real big and strong and they had some really good athletes. They did a super job of uh, running the clock and shortening the game for on us. They're an option team and then they also did a great job of getting their ball to some really good athletes. Uh, that uh, got some big plays on us and uh, you know the, then offensively we really did well but we had to settle for too many field goals again so I hope that's not going to be a problem all year long and uh, but anyway overall it's great to get the win we won to know in the conference regional game and uh, be 2-0 and overall. And you have to really be proud of the way your team played in the fourth quarter they cut it to a, a seven point game and uh, you were able to come back and really run the ball hard in the fourth quarter and put the game away. Well, we did, and we played a lot better defensively and uh, to get the ball back for the offense. You know, we didn't have many opportunities uh, in the game to, to get the football because we drove it and held it a long time too. So there wasn't many possessions, weren't any turnovers in the game. Another good thing that both teams did really well. We'll take a quick break, and we'll come back with first half highlights after this. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa. And by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. The Lions opened their 2015 season on the road last week. A big win over Miles College. A great crowd at Legion Field. A, a game similar to this one against the Mississippi College, but another strong win for your team to open the season. It really was a great win, and a lot, you know, always exciting to be able to have an opportunity to play in Legion Field for our players and uh, to have 21,000 uh, plus uh, people there. Then uh, it's a real, it was a really good environment. Uh, we played a really well coached team, coached by Reginald Ruffin, who was, you know, obviously an All-American that played here at UNA for, for me in the 90s and uh, had some other UNA uh, connections on the staff with Ronald McKinnon. And, and you know, it was, uh, they did a really good job and it was kind of like, like you said, like tonight to the fact that uh, we didn't really get big plays. We had to settle for field goals. It was a uh, very, very similar game uh, and, you know, I think you know, both teams, I thought, really had a good game plan against us and, and did a good job to keep the games close into the fourth quarter. As we get ready to look at the first half highlights from this Mississippi College game, your team came out and had great touchdown drives on its first two possessions, but they really gave a notice on their first offensive possession that they were a much improved team. Well, they are. And there's no question, a really improved football team, and they're going to win some games this year. Uh, you know, the biggest thing that our defense had to adjust to the game of, of playing an option team, they double teamed our down linemen and the linebackers were working flat instead of stepping up and, uh, you know, taking the full back, which you have to do when they when they do that uh, to the defensive line. And uh, so we kind of made the adjustment after the first series. Didn't give up another big play. Uh, I mean, didn't give up anything until the big play right before half where, uh, 50 something seconds and they, they throw a 73 yard pass uh, 
score really should have been about 21-7 at halftime. And uh, but you know, when you let teams like that hang in, you know that's what they wanted to do. They, that's why their whole game plan was to run the clock and and shorten the game. And if they could get a big play here and there and keep it close in the fourth quarter, they thought they would have a, a great chance. You and A going to take a 24-14 lead into the locker room at halftime. Here come your first half highlights right now. There's the kick. Darbell Harris takes it at the goal line, straight up the far hash mark, hit hard as he crossed the 15-yard line, will be brought down. Snap to Wingo, Wingo with a little toss out in the left flat to Lamonte Thompson. Lamonte dances around one defender, will break a tackle and get across out to the 28-yard line. The right shoulder of quarterback Luke Wingo, Wingo with a snap, straight back, looks down Phil finds a receiver. That's Hagen Scott, number 88. And that was a great job by Hagen Scott. And a TVA Com Community Credit Union first down. Little flare pass out to Damon Cox. Breaks one tackle. Kept his balance. Kept his effort going. Wideouts either way. Tight end to the near side. Hand off to Lamonte Thompson at the middle. Lamonte breaks into the open, gashing the middle of the Choctaw defense. Hagan Scott split to the near side. Mayhall and uh, that's Lee Mayhall and Dre Hall will five, catch the football on cue. Luke Wingo hits Dre Hall, breaks a tackle, caught it on the far hash marks, brought it back to the home side, got all the way across the numbers. Now in shotgun, Luke Wingo, the quarterback, puts Lamonte in motion, ball fake. Hagen Scott on a little post pattern across the middle. Very sharp, very efficient. Touchdown, UNA! Teed up at his own 35-yard line. Kicks the ball deep that is number 22 Josh Dixon with the football comes up the near side dances around one defender with motion to the far side the option goes to the left side of the offense the quarterback Smith will keep the football in shotgun formation is quarterback Kyle Smith takes the snap quick pass out to the far side to Newsom, who catches the football center. Hands to his fullback off right guard. Shotgun formation, handoff to number three, Ingram. It may, makes a man miss a tackle. Ingram running the football hard. Quarterback, UNA bunched up in the middle. Here's a handoff to Ingram. He tries right guard, crosses over the 46 minutes off the clock. Handoff inside to Ingram, finds running room in there, will be swarmed under, but not before he picks up 10 yards exactly. Ingram to the left shoulder of quarterback Kyle Smith, two wide outs, handoff, speed sweep to the left side, James Banks with a football, he's gonna be swarmed under, pushed back, that'll be for a loss. Shoulder slot to the right side now for the Choctaws. Kyle Smith straight back, looks left, pumps, Fires the ball down the sideline, has a receiver in the end zone. Did he catch wow. the football? He did. That is Marcel Newsom. Florence Home Depot, more saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. They did it exactly what, the way they wanted to do it. UNA's Philbert Marshall will take the kick off into the end zone. Comes out, comes to the near side, is stuck pretty hard at Lamonte Thompson to the short left uh, right shoulder of Wingo. Wingo hands off to Diamond Simmons. Speed sweep around right in. And be on the left shoulder of Wingo. Hand off to Lamonte. Gashes him up the middle. Lamonte Thompson spins through one tackler. Will explode across the 45 and across the 50 to the Choctaw 49 yard line. Colleges corners. Simmons to the left shoulder. Lamonte to the right shoulder of quarterback Luke Wingo. Wingo with a snap, hands off to Diamond around right in. Diamond Simmons with a lot of green in front of him. Slots to either side. Straight back is Wingo, fires over the middle. Mr. Reliable there, sets down at the 25 yard line, does. Big, big catch there. Harper and Diamond Simmons in the backfield, hand off to Diamond Simmons around the right end, finds some open green out there once again. Single back 
Under center is Wingo. The single back is Diamond Simmons. Hands off to Diamond Simmons right up the middle. Great blocking in the middle by UNA's offensive line. Diamond Simmons. Lamonte, who is to the right shoulder, now moves over to the left shoulder. Hand off to Lamonte around right in. Running room right there. The senior stretches. is hit at the two. He stretches into the end zone. Touchdown UNA, and that's the answer from the offense. Two possessions, two touchdowns. All alone in the backfield now, motion across the backfield. And there Smith does not hand the ball off, tries to go around the right end, but they're setting the edge. And motion across, here comes Smith. He drops straight back, fires a little screen pass out to the right side. But, oh, my goodness, there is big number 92 for UNA. Freddie Reed, the 6-foot, 288-pound sophomore from... Philbert Marshall back, he's standing at midfield. The punter almost blocked, UNA got good pressure as the ball hits at the 40 yard line. The punter is Matthew Turcott. Three wide outs left, single right out to the right side. Diamond Simmons around left end, will try to get away, does get away from one man. Had a good block out there by Lee Mayhall. The three wide outs move to the left side, the wide side of the field. Wingo straight back, fires a quick pass. Hagen Scott catches it at the 30, turns it inside. Will go all the way down to the Choctaw 21 yard line. Left shoulder of Wingo, Lamonte to the right shoulder, takes the handoff, Lamonte tried to go around left end. Couldn't have anything there. The Choctaws had that blocked off. So Lamonte just drops his shoulder, cuts it back up inside, picks up five. Diamond Simmons into the left shoulder of Wingo. Wingo fakes to him, fires it out. Dre Hall catches at the five, turns around. The defender came up. Dre Hall just danced right around him, goes into the left corner of the end zone. Dre Hall with an outstanding move, but the ball got there in such a hurry that he was able to make that move before the defender could get there. Octos again, 54.8 seconds, UNA 21 to 7 leading right before halftime. Kyle Smith, quick bubble screen out to Newsom. Breaks a tackle, gets all the way across. Newsom down the right sidelines is gonna take it all the way down. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. 44 seconds remaining. Lamonte to the left shoulder of Luke. Luke with a snap, straight back, fires it across the middle. Coming across is Dre Hall. Thompson beside Wingo, the quarterback. quarterback Wingo with the ball, looks left under pressure, rolls to the left side, fires the ball on the run out there. Mark held in Washington, on left hash mark. Hagen Scott split single to the left side. Wingo looks over the oh. middle of the field. There is that number 80 once again. Jarrett Smith. Ha hey, Hall calls for the snap. It's there. The place is good. The kick is up. And it is good. All right. So we're going to halftime. On a good note, instead of that big play, what a great, great drive by the offense. We'll get to halftime. Your score here at Brawley Municipal Stadium, UNA Lions 24, the Choctaws of Mississippi College 14. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser and by Southern Fastening. What's going on up there? Definitely oh. Chuck. This is all for you. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> There was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can't be beat. As we come back for the second half, the Lions with a 10-point lead at halftime. There's really a defensive third quarter. Mississippi College gets a field goal to cut it again to a seven-point game, but 
As we mentioned, Lamonte Thompson, 188 yards, 27 rushes, a whole lot of those in the fourth quarter, and you were really able to do that and run the clock and put the game away. Well, you know, it really helped our defense to keep them off the field uh, as much because, uh, they, you know, of course that option offense are trying to wear us down, but we played so many people on defense that I don't think there's any way they could have worn us down. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, defensively, we, we did have some big stops in the second half. Uh, the fourth quarter, I thought, was really key. You know, kids could have got up tight uh, with it so close going in the fourth quarter, but they uh, played really uh, good football, and we scored some points and, and held them and, uh, you know, made the, made the outcome a little bit bigger than really the game was as close as it was going in the fourth quarter. So real proud of our players for winning the fourth quarter, especially in a situation like that. I was going to say, it's two weeks in a row that your team has really stepped up in the fourth quarter. The game on the line in both games and we're able to really put it away. Well, that's going to help us on down the road, I hope, to win some close games because we're going to have to win close games. Uh, the league is so good that there's going to be a lot of games that are you know, going to be won and lost you know, within you know, three points or two points or whatever in, in the last minutes of the game. And uh, you know, that kind of gives you a little confidence when you're able to not fold under the pressure and you'll be able to not panic. Uh, you know, it's been very easy after what happened last year when we beat them 58 to nothing. And the, the kids might not realize how improved they are over last year. And, and to, you know, kind of be panicking and like, what's wrong with us? You know, why aren't we, you know, doing better than this? But they had a good football team. And, uh, sure and you know, we, we made the plays when we had to. Here come your second half highlights as the Lions hold on to win 34-17. Metro Bank, your hometown bank, member FDIC, Kevin Hinky with the kick. Marcel Newsom mishandles the ball in the end zone. With Greer to his right shoulder, slot to the right side, single receiver left, hands off to Greer. Greer tries the middle, is going to be collared there. Nothing happening for at UNA Sporting Events when he's here. Smith fakes the handoff on the speed sweep. and Cotton, quick pass out to the far side, bubble screen block thrown out there on Phil Ingram to the left shoulder of Raymond Cotton. Cotton counter to the right side, finds a gap, runs all the way down to the UNA 30-yard line. Ingram, the halfback to the right shoulder, takes the handoff. Ingram around right end, finds running room, gets the edge. Will fake the handoff. He tries the middle of the line there, but will be smothered very, very quickly. Older Peyton Gray, good snap. The hold is down. The kick is up. And he is one for one. If that's the case, we have a new score. 8-13 remaining in the third quarter. On Slot to the right side, single receiver left. Kyle Smith looks to run. He's going to get sacked. It's a big star sack where they don't leave you holding the bag. Nice. Philbert Marshall stands at the UNA 43-yard line. Almost blocked. Gets the punt away. Philbert catches it inside the 40. Is slung down immediately by number six, Marcel Newsom. In and just ignited things all of a sudden. Need six here. Now Wingo is the quarterback. Hands off to Lamonte. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is up. It is also good. A little bit of breathing room. Slot to the right side. Single receiver left. Smith straight back, under pressure, is going to be sacked! Big star sack! Lamonte in motion out to the right side, quick pass out that way to Lamonte, catches the ball, makes a move to the outside, dances across the 40. Clock, 435 remaining, handoff to Lamonte, up the middle, finds a gap, almost broke it all the way, but with shoulder of quarterback Wingo, slot left, single receiver right. Hand off, Lamonte up the middle, stops for a second. Now exerts himself, speed right up the middle. Made one man miss just by being patient. Downtown, Phil, the Hamptonality snap to Wingo, turns, hands off to Lamonte, stops on a dime, cuts it out to the right side, 10, five, to the corner of the end zone. Lamonte Thompson, what a move, hammer in the last nail. You're in a touchdown. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by
Here's the game plan at the all-new University Toyota. No trick plays, no razzle-dazzle. Just straight-up savings on hundreds of new Toyotas. Like new Corollas from $159 a month. New Camrys, $189 a month. Go long with no payments until next year. Or try one before you buy one with Toyota Rent-A-Car. Score a great deal during the game plan for savings event at the all-new University Toyota. Formerly Jim Bishop Toyota. New name, same familiar faces. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our house sets, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. UNA's frostbite player of the game in this 34-17 win over Mississippi College is senior running back Lamonte Thompson. Uh, Coach Wallace, Lamonte uh, started the season with back-to-back 100-yard -back games. He had 188 on 27 carries in this one, 10 100-yard games for his career. But uh, he was really a, a key to the game, not only in scoring, but being able to run the ball so hard in the fourth quarter. Oh, well, there's no question about it. And, uh, you know, I'm really not sure we want him to carry it 27 times. But uh, And he also caught two passes, so he had 200, over 200 yards of, of offense. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't fumble the football, uh, and that was always great. But, you know, Lamonte is one of the hardest workers on the team. And, uh, he is the hardest worker. Nobody outworks Lamonte, and, and, and he deserves everything he gets because of how hard he worked. He's done it for four years now. And, uh, you know, he's, he's our leader, one of our leaders. We have many. And uh, when your leaders are the guys that work the hardest and come to practice every day and go to the weight room every day and do all the things they're supposed to do right, uh, it's great uh, leadership for the other players on the team. So he brings a lot more than just his talent on the field. He brings great leadership. And, and it's fitting because he probably would have been the frostbite player of the game last week also So against Miles. So he's had two great, great games to get, to get his senior year started. As a four-year starter for the Lions, he's in the top five now in the career rushing at UNA, continues to climb on the touchdown list as well. So congratulations, our frostbite player of the game, Lamonte Thompson. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TVA Community Credit Union and by TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our house sets, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. 
So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Very excited about being here. Very excited that you're here. Uh, you know, it just means a lot to me and uh, it's a great way to get started. And I've got a lot invested in this university and I love this university. And I Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, as we wrap up this week's coverage of the, mile, or the excuse me, Mississippi College game, you have a rare open week coming up. What do you got planned for your, for your team this coming week? Well, it, we do have an open week because of the Langston game being canceled, which was, you know, was really good. Uh, I think it helps us a lot you know, instead of having to make that long road trip. Uh, and, you know, we'll be able to try to stay as healthy as we can. We had a few people banged up tonight. Uh, but overall, for two games, we're, we're fairly healthy, which is good. Uh, so we'll we'll start working on Florida Tech, which is our next opponent, uh, in two weeks, and uh, you know we'll get some film on them and be able to uh, game plan for them a little bit Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll do our normal schedule until next Friday, and then we'll give the players the weekend off. Obviously, coaches will be back in the uh, office Sunday afternoon, uh, looking at the Florida Tech's film for next from next week. So. Uh, you know, it's still we still got a lot of work to do, and uh, just give us an opportunity to take our time and get it done right. We've had some fans have the opportunity to go down to Florida Tech. Well, we played down there two years in a row. This will be the first chance for our fans here to see them. They're a quality football team. Well, there's no question they are. They got a great quarterback and a uh, great running back uh, on offense. Offensively is where they've been so strong, uh, <clears throat> you know, in the last few years. And uh, last year we had to. Uh, it went. You know, the, the, I don't know if they got the, the field goal off, but we blocked the field goal in the last play of the game. Uh, it might have been after time ran out, but uh, that would have, uh, I believe, won it for them. Or instead of overtime, it would have won it, I believe. But uh, bottom line is we've had a dog fight with them both years. You and Florida Tech here at Brawley Stadium on September the 29th at 6 o'clock. Hope to see you here. Thank you for watching The Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 630.